Well, it's not over yet. We continue <laughs> on Stormwatch today. As you can see, the rain and snow on our Mount Wilson camera. Yeah. And there are some nervous neighbors in the Hollywood Hills. <laughs> KCAL 9's Cara Finstrom is live where Laurel Canyon is closed after a landslide. And Cara, you just got some new information? We did. It was raining so hard here uh, during the last hour that building and safety engineers actually just called off their investigation into what happened on this hillside. They say everything just too unstable out here. So for now, this boulevard will remain shut down. They say rain definitely a factor in what happened yesterday, but they want to know what else may be to blame. It's crazy. With clouds lifting, neighbors say it's becoming increasingly clear how disastrous this frightening patio collapse could have been. I feel really bad for the owner. Yesterday, 9,000 pounds of concrete from a foundation and retaining wall broke away from this 1920s home and crashed down on Laurel Canyon Boulevard. Today, engineers are trying to figure out whether the rest of the now red tagged home can withstand any more rain or even handle its own weight. <laughs> Right now, two other homes are yellow tagged, but those neighbors can come and go as long as they avoid their backyards. Amazingly, no one was hurt yesterday. The road was closed just in time. The lower portion of the house, which is the foundation, had sunk about a half an inch and then an inch. We had a friend come over to check it out, and he was just like, You guys got to go, it's going to go. Today, engineers are also tackling another big question. Commuters and neighbors want to know how long this vital stretch of Laurel Canyon will need to be shut down. I got to get out of my driveway to get onto the street. And with now it's 10 times busier. And we did just hear from some firefighters who drove through here. They say that heavy rain we had actually triggered a smaller mud flow just further down Laurel Canyon Boulevard on Rothdale, where it intersects over there. So uh, a lot of heavy rain here, some concerns with the investigation. So it's been halted for now. We should learn hopefully later today when this boulevard may reopen.